Hello and welcome back to Yorkshire Railway and welcome back to another model railway review. Today I'm going to be looking at the Backman Class 47. And this is really exciting because this is my first ever Backman locomotive. So I'm very excited to get this out of the box and take a look at it in further detail. This is the second of my Christmas presents from my mum, uh, who got this from Derails Models for uh, the price of £140 which is a considerable discount from the full RRP of this uh, DCC Ready locomotive, um, which is in excess of £200. So it's a very considerable discount. Um, and I think that's the thing with a lot of what has put me off from going uh, for a Backman locomotive in the past is the price. Um, a lot of them are very hefty prices and you know, I've heard very good things about Backman locomotives, but it's just like, you know, to shell out in one go, you know, in excess of like £200 just for a single locomotive, no coaches or anything. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's definitely a, a really uh, off-putting uh, prospect. Um, I mean, I'd like to try more Backman locomotives, uh, definitely... Uh, will be, um, but certainly I will not probably be buying them at the full RRP. I'll be waiting uh, to see if any drop into the sales at the retailers. Anyway, onwards with the show and we'll get this out of the box and take a look at it in greater detail. So yeah, to note with the packaging, um, just while I'll lift it up and show you the uh, product number, it's 35-412, class 47, 47712 Lady Diana Spencer in the BR Scott Rail livery. Um, and as you can see, this is the 21st of the first 23 when this model was released, so it is a year old, but definitely a very new tooling. But back to the packaging. Um, obviously, I'm very used to the Hornby packaging, uh, which obviously has the uh, like sleeve over the top, and you can't see the locomotive, it's just like a artist's uh, picture of what's inside the box and I sort of do f find that's a bit more of a grand reveal um, than this little window into the box um, but uh, it's nice to see that it is in the block of ice uh, packaging you know definitely shows that uh, Backman do care with their products very sturdy box as well and here we have the information sheet so a lot of separately fitted uh, detail parts to fit which, you know, for the full RRP, uh, definitely, I think, is a, is a little bit, um, you know, are, are we putting a kit build together or am I paying £200 for a model? Um, so, yeah, I, I don't really like that all too much. Um, as you can see, there are the lubrication points and some lighting options. So that's uh, interesting. I do, it's the one thing I do like a lot about diesel locomotives. A lot of them do come with... Uh, lighting options and here's just how to disassemble the uh, body from the uh, chassis as well as the DCC uh, decoder um, so anyway let's get this out of the box and I should put a disclaimer I have already had this out of the box on Christmas Day uh, just because I couldn't wait to film a review um, so this is why the detail packaging is open and as you can see there is uh, the snow plow now one thing i didn't like is that the bag isn't resealable like this one um which contains the etched name plates um so that is a very nice high quality uh sort of addition um yeah etched metal name plates um i probably will be fitting those as well um at some point but yeah it's a shame that the uh, detail bag can't be resealed because yeah unfortunately i have had bits like sort of falling out all over the place. But uh, the reason why I opened it was because I wanted to fit one of the snow plows. And as you can see, as I'll turn it around, you'll be able to see it a bit further uh, up close. So yeah, we've got the snow plow up at the front and then the NEM coupling at the back. Um, as you can see, really nice Scott Rail uh, signage on the side of it uh, with a blue stripe. So yeah, we'll, we'll take a little bit uh, of a, uh, a closer look at it now. 
So yeah, we'll just get around to the cab. So as you can see at the front, we've got uh, two lights as well as a little headlamp. The uh, snowplow fits beautifully under the buffers, which uh, are sprung as well. Very big chunky buffers, um, they're in this sort of like matte black. Lots of detailing on the front cab and the grills. They've got a really nice sort of glazing on the windscreen as well, as well as like the air vent at the top of the cab. Um, so that's a really nice feature. Um, as you see, buffers are sprung. Um, very nice, very thin buffers, but uh, but yeah, very nice. Uh, some separately fitted handrails. Uh, not really much detail on the bogies, but um, you can see there's like springs and everything on there. As we move further into the middle, there's lots of like sort of pipe work and gauges that are sort of uh, separately painted and fitted. Uh, the Lady Diana Spencer sign there as well. It looks really, really nice, even without the uh, etched ones fitted. Um, as I said before, you know, really nice crisp lettering on the Scott Rail livery, as well as the numbering on the sides. And then to the back of the cab, it's basically the same as the front. Um, you know, we've got the lighting, the separately fitted handrails. So we'll move to the top of the locomotive. And as you can see, we've got some etched grills with moving fans as well. Now I know one thing about the moving fans is, unfortunately, they only move on uh, DCC. They don't move on analog, uh, which I think is a bit of a shame. But uh, we'll move on to the lighting options. And I'll give it a little bit of juice. It's a little bit hard because I don't have a rolling road. So to show you the forwards, I'm basically gonna have to drive it towards the camera. But so uh, you can see the front lighting illuminating as we go. And there's the uh, tail lights there, which is quite a nice feature. So uh, in a forwards or backwards uh, motion, you'll be able to see some lighting, uh, which I think is great. Yeah, really, really, really nice lighting. It's not too bright. I'll just hold it still so you can see the uh, front, but as you can see, it's got a bit more of an orange hue to it. And the uh, headlamp has a little bit more of a uh, whiter hue than the uh, regular lamps, which I think is quite nice. It's not very too bright, but certainly bright enough to illuminate uh, a head um, and look very realistic. But this is the first time down onto the track, so we'll give it a little bit of juice and we'll see if we can get a crawl out of it. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's my first Backman locomotive, so it will be interesting to see what the performance will be like. There we go, we've got a little bit of a uh, slow speed going. Oh, wow. So this hasn't been properly run in yet. I literally took it out of the box and fitted the parts, and that was about it. So I haven't run this in, I haven't run it at all. Um, that is quite a good start. It's very, very, very controlled. Um, wow. That's quite impressive to say that it's only just come out of the box. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure this will just get better and better as it's running more. Um, so yes, very, very impressed with that crawl. As I say, this is on the Hornby Select controller for anybody that's new to the channel. Um, I am hoping to upgrade that. Oh, it's just got stuck a little bit. Uh, just give it the, uh, the nudge from the hand of God. But, uh, but yes, I'm on the Hornby Select controller that comes out of a train set. Um, I'm hoping to get that upgraded to a, um, a Gauge Master at some point. I know they're supposed to be a lot better controllers, but... Uh, yeah, I just haven't got around to doing that as of yet. So um, I will declare that every time I do a model review uh, until I get my controller changed. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so giving it a bit of running um, just to see if that will uh, go. So we've got half an hour forwards, half an hour in reverse. And we'll see if that crawl has improved at all. Give it a little bit of juice. That is incredible. So this has only been running for an hour. Um, and as you can see, the, the crawl has got even better. Yeah, that, that that's fantastic. I, I, I'll be honest, I can't even tell 
anymore if it's uh, moving slightly. There we go. It's, it's, I think it stalled on the point work actually. Um, just slightly. Sometimes happens with the Hornby Select controller. I've noticed that um, even with a larger wheelbase, uh, if you're sort of doing slow speeds and you go over a point, sometimes it can stall. Um, I'm not really sure why. It might just be the controller that I'm, I've selected to use. But uh, I'll not mark the locomotive down on that at all. Um, but yeah, I think that the slow speeds is absolutely incredible. It's really, really gentle to get started. But I think what we'll do now is we'll connect it to some coaches. Uh, I've chosen the Intercity Mark 3s, uh, just a rake of three so far. Um, and we'll give it a run around my little test track that I've set up. Any of you that have uh, watched my building a model railway uh, layout, you'll probably notice this isn't the same layout. Um, this video, as well as my next model railway review, was filmed uh, along with the HST and it was just set up with a basic loop. Um, but, uh, but yes, all future uh, reviews will be done on the new circuit. Is that something to look forward to? But yeah, it's, it's such a smooth locomotive, this, you know, it's, I know the rake isn't particularly big, um, just because it's on a small loop at the minute, I didn't want to put too many coaches on, but it, it's just hauling them effortlessly, and, uh, you know, I think everything about this locomotive is great, um, it's, you know, the, the lighting, it's not too bright, as you can see, it's not too dim, I think, it, I think Backman have nailed the perfect blend, it's uh, yeah, it's just a fantastic locomotive, really good runner, and I'm I'm really looking forward to getting this running with a proper rake of coaches uh, on uh, my proper track when I've got that sorted. But uh, but yeah, it's just just gliding around absolutely effortlessly. But anyway, I think that we should move on, and we should start with the favourite part, which most people do come for which is my ratings for the locomotive. So this is the rating for the Backman Class 47 in the Scott Rail livery, Lady Diana Spencer. So let's start off with the performance, which I've marked at four and a half stars. I've given it this mark just because I think it's a very, very good performer with the slow speeds as well as the crawl, especially under the Hornby Select controller. I think that was absolutely impressive. Very smooth um, runner as well. It's, it's very quiet as well. Um, that's that's reason I've just given it such a high uh, mark. You know, something's got to be very special for me to give it a five star, and I don't think it quite deserves that, but certainly four and a half stars. It's a very, very good performer. Detail-wise, I've given it four stars. It, you know, it's, it's heavily detailed on the cab area, as well as the separately painted areas are very great as well. However... There are some details such as the fans, which don't work, you know, uh, under my control, um, which I think is one of those things I am paying for it. And therefore, I just think it's a bit of a kick in the teeth, really, pay for something that I can't use. Um, as well as, uh, you know, being a diesel locomotive, inherently, they are a little bit more simple than steam locomotives. So therefore, you know, although it's heavily detailed, I don't think really I can give it that much more just because of the lack of features i think if the fans worked under analog then yeah i maybe would have gone like four and a half maybe even five stars who knows but uh, yeah i think i think backman really need to address the price range if you're gonna say it has features but you can't use them livery wise uh, the reason i've given it four stars is just down to the crispness um you know there's no paint bleed as far as i can tell um as well as the you know the livery itself is very crisply applied although you know i i, I love the uh, the scott rail sort of br intercity sort of style uh, livery but it is very basic as well uh, so there isn't very any anything complex unlike the um scott rail hst i looked at uh, in the last review uh, so yeah uh, that's why it's just giving giving it a four star uh, just because it's very well applied Quality wise, giving it four and a half stars, you know, again, it's absolutely fantastic in terms of performance, uh, as well as the detail and the livery as well. 
combine that all together, the quality is absolutely fantastic. Um, and certainly does reflect the price a little bit. As I've already said, the fans just don't work uh, as well as I believe there is cab lighting as well, which doesn't appear to work on DC. Um, or not that I can see it anyway. So um, yeah, it, that's that to me is just a little bit um, on Backman's part. Is yeah, it's just a kick in the teeth. Um, which then comes to value, and I've given it the value of three star because two hundred pounds or in excess of two hundred pounds for a DC uh, locomotive is crazy, especially when half the features are missing. So back when I think you really need to sort your prices out and if you're like me and really want a Backman locomotive just wait because the retailers will not sit on these and they'll discount them to shift stock because who wants a locomotive in five years that's brand new and it's been sat in a shop and you don't even know it's going to work because it's been sat for so long that all the oil might have clagged up and then you're going to have to give it a good service so yeah I'd say Definitely top tip for Backman locomotives. Just wait. If if it's right, they will discount it. Uh, you know, if it's something that you really really want, certainly pay the price for it. But you'll probably find uh, I've seen it with quite a few Backman locomotives as of late that they are heavily discounted, and I think it's just because they're charging too much. And I think certainly with the likes of um, a Curious Scale. Uh, coming into the fold with some, well, from what I've heard, uh, not that I have any, um, but uh, their locomotives are the new benchmark for quality as well as affordability. Uh, so I will have to get my hands on uh, some Acura scale locomotives and take a look at them uh, because if there are anything as good as Backman, uh, I think they are probably going to be the manufacturer to beat and Certainly with like uh, the sadness of like uh, retailers such as Hatton Hatton's um, closing down, then yeah, it's uh, it's something to maybe watch out for that, you know, retailers and manufacturers may go under if they can't do what we want and get the prices better. And that gives us an overall rating of four stars, which I think is absolutely incredibly deserved to the Backman Class 47. It's a fantastic runner. It's got some really good features on DC. It's got some really good features on DCC. It is a shame that you can't use them. And I think that is something that Backman needs to address. Either find a way of letting us use them or discount the price a little bit more. Um, especially when you're looking at £200 for a diesel locomotive. It's certainly a bit of kick in the teeth when even the fans can't rotate or the cab lighting can't turn on. If I can have the lights on the front, I don't understand why the cabs can't just be on all the time. Um, you know, it's, it's something that I, I just think that uh, it should be needed uh, for a £200 locomotive. Um, it's definitely got good build quality. It, as I say, it's just the value that is letting this down. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, give us a thumbs up and if you haven't, uh, you know, at least let me know why. Um, drop a comment down in below. Uh, do you like the Backman Class 47? Have you got one? How is yours compared to this one? And do you agree with my points on uh, my scoring? Uh, if you don't, let me know why. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel. It is free to do so and it really helps me out, as well as helps me get more recognition out there in the model community. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Have a good one.